This is the battery charger insides I, I built. Um, it's got a recycled. This whole thing, uh, pretty much most of it is uh, old junk. You can see on the inside here the old paint. It was uh, This was actually a shelf, all this housing. And I cut it up. Um, the fan is salvaged out of some old piece of equipment. And uh, that's the original amp gauge. And then I wanted a volt gauge, so I had to buy a volt gauge. You can see down in here the, uh, the clock timer down there. Down here. That, uh, uh, that actually still works. And then I had to buy a, a knob for it. You can see this is a uh, rotary switch there with all the wires going to it. And the old uh, transformer. Out of it, this is all out of a, a, a battery charger. That's all that's left of the battery charger, the, that old faceplate. I guess the reason they probably threw it out is it used to have push buttons for the five settings. And uh, um, anyway, the push button mechanism just blew apart, literally. All the bake light came apart. So I guess that's got a how it got thrown out. I can't remember what brand it is. It looks like it could be... Uh, well, I don't know. It's not the right color for sun. I think it might have said fox on it or something, too. I can't remember. But anyway, and then this is the... Uh, I'm, I put two. These are 70 amp, 70 amp rectifiers, and I, I uh, was testing it to see how many amps it would put out. And well, it puts out more than 70 amps, so I blew those out. This is a heat sink I put them on, and so I'm going to double them up and put two on, two on each... Uh, uh, two on each, one, yeah, two on each side of the center tap. This is a center tap uh, transformer. It's got three leads coming out on the secondary. So, but anyway, I've got um, I don't know, fifty bucks in this. There's the wheels for it. Those are old hospital gurney wheels. Some scrap tubing I had. Like I said, this is all scrap. The square tubing frame in this thing is. Uh, was, it used to be a wrought iron railing I cut apart. Well, that's what it looks like all put together. It's got a stick handle on it here. And uh, the wheels are old hospital gurney wheels. Um, oops. Um, when I originally took this blue one apart right here, um, it was. It looked like it was in so bad shape. I wasn't sure if I could salvage anything out of it, but I did pull the uh, diodes out of there and put them in this one. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this one. Oh man, probably twenty-five years ago, or maybe even longer, thirty years. I had it in a storage building for uh, oh, I don't know, till two thousand. Seven probably or yeah probably 2007 I dug it out and uh, I put the diodes from that in there and got it going the diodes were good so I've been using that one it's a pretty good charger and these are about equivalent um, this one here's got this has got four steps one two three four yeah and this one's got five uh, I'm not sure this might be have more power than this one. I'm, I'm not sure. They're they're pretty close though. Anyway, so it's all together. I uh, um, got the new diodes in today, so I put it all back together. So it should be pretty good. Anyway, it's all like I said. It's all made from junk. The uh, sides here were some shelving material. I don't know if I got any laying around or not. Oh yeah, here's a piece. That's what the sides were made out of, old shelves. But uh, I cut up one shelf. This is what's left over of it. And uh, then the aluminum, I got a bunch of scrap from a guy that was building uh, swim decks for power boats.
So that's some of his cutoff stuff. So now I got two good battery chargers. Uh, I don't know what these are worth. Uh, they're kind of expensive, I think. I think they're over 150 bucks anyway, maybe 250. So this one here probably cost me, I don't know, I'm guessing 50 bucks or so for all the parts. I bought a, the volt gauge I bought and this uh, rotary switch I bought. But that's it. See ya.